Welcome back to the Brown Boys podcast. Today we got special guests in the building. The extra uh, crispy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's already started. It's begun. He's um, a good friend of ours. Uh, rapper, producer, singer, songwriter, yeah. model. <laughs> <laughs> All around artist Mr. John Gibbs in the building. Yes, Give it up. Sir. Make Thanks. some noise. Show some respect. Hey, man. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, man. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm gonna be asking a lot of the questions this one because like y'all have some crazy shit that y'all went through, some some crazy stories. Yeah. But before that, I kind of want to get into like how'd you start with music? How did you get into music? Was it, was it always like a, a part of your life, or was it something you just kind of picked up along the way? Mm, I would say it's probably been a part of my life for the majority of my life. Right. Um, my mom is like a singer, like a really good singer. So I just grew up in a house with that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then like my dad wrote poetry like since I can remember. So yeah. I think those two things just like merged and made me, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's just been like that. Yeah. From, from the jump. I would say so for sure. Yeah, cause were you doing were you doing music in high school yeah. already? Okay. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I don't think we met in high school. We I mean we probably met prior. Yeah. Actually we did meet prior. I don't know if you remember this story, mm. but your sister used to tutor my brother. Oh, shit. way back in elementary school. So I remember, like, uh, I remember, like, um, my I would go with my parents to drop him off at your pad, and then like what? we met like way before, bro. And bro, I didn't even put crazy. two and two together until my brother mentioned it. That's he crazy. Goes, yeah, isn't it his sister? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, that's crazy. She used to tutor me, blah, blah blah. Used to drop me off. I'm like, damn, that's that's wild. Because I didn't even put two damn. and two together for the damn. longest time. But yeah, my yeah. my memories are like somewhat like you know certain spots of life are like blotted out. So I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, because I didn't meet you until after y'all linked up, mm -hmm. which was, when was that? When did y'all start? Like 2015, 16? Yeah, around there. How did that happen? Did y'all start um, in school or in high school? Or yeah, was you, it? you were on tour, right? Yeah. I was on tour. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you had just sent me like this like guitar stuff. Like We had talked a couple times about like, you know, you sent it over some guitar stuff, and I think you just sent over one that was like really dope. I was like, bro... When I get back off tour, like we should link up. Yeah. And then uh yeah, he came through the crib and Yeah. It's full of right up the street. Yeah. Damn. Did you even know? Nah, I had no clue. Oh yeah. shit. Well yeah. sent me his address. I was like, what? I, I remember <laughs> Gabe, I think it was Gabe who sent me the uh the nine five video. Oh yeah. Not even though that was you. Yeah, yeah. That was you on the guitar. I was like, yeah. Oh sh oh shit, that's Obed. And like ever since then I was like, yo, I have to do some shit with this. But these I had kind of known him like already like in high school just because Ryan Yamamoto was into Ford. like the spoken word. Oh, yeah. Yep. So he was going off on that. So I just remembered him from that. Like, man, dude That's talented wild. already. Man. Yeah, he was telling me like some of your crazy ass stories if you want to get into that. Because um, yeah. you were staying out in LA yeah. for, for a bit. Yeah. yeah. He's telling me some shit, but I feel like we should kind of <laughs> open, go into that. <laughs> no, do you have any, sure. What do you want to start with? The bro, the guitar getting stolen. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right. I'm gonna just put the mic down because I just want to hear the whole thing. Well, how I'll you? Just, I'll just start it yeah, off. Man. So I came up there and I was there for like the weekend or something, and then uh, was what, packing what up. What part of LA is this? Sorry, I'm gonna cut you off. But what part of LA is this? Uh, uh, like the 20s, like Crenshaw okay. and Adams, like West yeah. West Adams District. In the neighborhood, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm packing my I'm packing my shit up. I'm getting ready to go, um, putting all my stuff in my car, and then I'm like, all right, bro, peace. I go back home, like to oceans, come back to oceanside, oh, and I'm like, getting all my stuff out the whip, and I'm like, yo, like, where's my guitar? Uh, <laughs> the whole guitar? Like, yeah, the guitar. <laughs> like, like, and mind you, like, my boy Zach made this like guitar yeah. with me, like, with his with, with his, his like hand, mentor. <laughs> yeah, like, this is like a five thousand dollar guitar. Call John. I'm like, yo, like I lost my guitar. Nah, that's not how you said it. He said, Brr. I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, hey, um, did I leave my guitar there? <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'll shake bro. It. I don't see it. <laughs> He's just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> that sounds a little more real. Yeah, I don't like, remember. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what you talking about? He's like, it's not here. I don't, I don't know where it's at. I'm like, Bro, I was <laughs> so panicked. <laughs> I would be too, but <laughs> this so, is terrible. From then. Yeah, uh, and so then, yeah, then yeah. So after that, like once we discovered that, like it's not in the house and it's not in his car, I'm like, damn. I mean, somebody probably stole that shit. So um, we were really close with um, the apartment manager. Yeah, 
Um, turns out he like in the past had like worked on music with Dr. Dre. So when we met, it was just uh, it like clicked. Yeah, like and he was like, yeah, yeah. He was like super helpful. Um, and always come through the apartment, like play music for us that we yeah. hadn't heard, stuff like that. So I hit him. I'm like, hey, bro, because uh, he has access to the cameras on the building. So I'm like, hey, bro, like we gotta we gotta find these. Like we gotta find Obed's guitar, or at least find who stole it. Um, and then like we spent like three hours, bro, looking through camera footage of the whole Shit. day. Kept calling this fool. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, any word? <laughs> I'll call yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. He kept on calling me. He calling me while we looking for this. I'm like nothing yet, bro. He's just like, <sighs> <laughs> like you can tell he's just back. like pressed. <laughs> yeah. So look. So like, um. Boom, like maybe two hours and some change in, we finally see like this dude come up and just look both ways, then brush up against uh Obed's car and it just quickly swiped the guitar, just kept pushing. Wait, was this before you, you packed everything up? Like it was this just is out? Like in so middle, I left it out. He left oh. it out to come back in and say peace. And in that split second, it was like, Damn. yeah, I thought, but I thought I like I had put it in. Yeah, like I was, I had a bunch of shit. Like I would always bring like hella guitars and and like my backpack, a yeah. bunch of shit. So like you while I'm putting something, basically, in, yeah, and I just left it out. Like this is stupid. still LA, bro. Like yeah. stupid. It's a bunch of like probably within like a minute, huh? Like, yeah. yeah. Now like I didn't leave it there to yeah go. Like I, I really forgot that it was there. Yeah. yeah. So like one of the like regulars around that neighborhood, uh, this dude named Bird. He ended up being the culprit. We we like got oh, the footage. <laughs> <laughs> we got the footage, and then I'm like, "That's fucking bird right there." And then uh, Francis like had confirmed it. Shout out to Francis Boy, yeah, if you're yeah. watching this. Um, and then so I just went on a hunt after that. I'm like, "Oh, I'm gonna go get this shit. I know exactly where he be at." <laughs> <laughs> like, because <laughs> I'm like, I mean, I, I'm hearing bro on the phone. He sounds so sad, and I'm yeah. just like. That's his baby. Right. Like, yeah, that's his, like he yeah. sounded like down. I think you still use that guitar every day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, every day. Yeah, so I'm like, nah, I'm finna go get this shit for this fool. Um, which was a risk in and of itself because, like, this yeah. ain't my neighborhood, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But I'm just like, whatever. You about to go press this? Bro. Yeah, like I gotta get it back. <laughs> I'll never, yeah. forget, I'll never forget. So, <laughs> so boom, I, I, I get to asking people like on my block, like, hey, y'all know where Bird is at? They was like, oh yeah, he's over there by the Master Burger. So I walk through the alley and I'm just like, hot, I'm hot. Cause like, bro, why would you do this? You you see us make music yeah. every day. Like you see us coming in and out of this building and like you know what we up to. Um so I go up to him, I finally see him, and like he's across the street at the gas station, actually. So they gave me the wrong information originally. And then um I go up to him, I'm like, hey, bro, you did you take a guitar today? And he like immediately like his face go like, <gasps> and I'm like, Bird, where's the guitar at? He's like, man, I pawned it. I'm like, bro, you pawned it? I'm like, well, we got to go walk to the pawn shop and get it back now. Yeah. I'm like, how much did they give you for it? He was like, $25. That is disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> for a $5,000 Handmade guitar. Handmade $5,000. Bro. If y'all see Obed on tour or whatever it is, <laughs> which guitar is it? It's the brown one, It's right? the brown, yeah. It's the brown one. So Tell remember this it. story, but that's... $25? Yeah. yeah, bro. $25, man. So He didn't even know what he had. So he didn't have the $25 anymore, of course. So I had to put the $25 down to get it. And then once I got it, you know, um, I told him, I'm like, hey, bro, like, I didn't appreciate you doing that. Like, you know what we do. Like, yeah. You know, the whole thing. Like, he just he's even commented on the music he's heard coming out of the apartment. Does he stay like there? That. He just is a regular around that uh, block. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? He didn't stay in those that building, but he just would regularly be on that block. Damn. Um, so then um after that, I was just like made an agreement with him. Like, you gotta wash my car for like the next six months for free. Shit. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, he did it, but that like that was even suspect. I feel like that fool was doing that with his spit or some shit. Like, I don't know. It was some weird. <laughs> this nigga never had water. <laughs> on a, on a hot <laughs> he was washing day. my car. He never had water. On a hot day, he just <laughs> A couple times yo. I'm looking at my windows after the fact. I'm like, yo, is this spit residue? <laughs> oh my <laughs> shit. <laughs> spit in the t shirt he's wearing. Yeah. yeah. This smell like steel reserve. <laughs> yo, why does it smell like Newport? It smell like that Thunderbird. <laughs> nah, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. It was like, 
it was a risk of like going to go grab that mug, but because I, you know, again, it's not my neighborhood, and these are like older dudes that are like the OGs around here. But I was just like, bro, that's five thousand dollars like down the drain, yeah. and it's sentimental value. It's not just any guitar. Yeah, I that's, thought Zach's the homie. Like he made that shit. Yeah, gifted it to you, right? Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like my my first time going on tour, like he gave that shit to me right before. Damn, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'd be hurt too. I'd be calling you too. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Please. So then I call him. I'm like, hey, bro, I got your shit. He was like, no. <laughs> Oh, thank you, bro. <laughs> thank you, bro. I'm like, don't even worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Johnny Kids getting it done. Don't worry about nothing. <laughs> I've been in this fool's day ever since. <laughs> Dog, that, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I think, nah. what, did you drive back and come get it or did I bring it down? No, nah, I think you either, like came down. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I'll bring it down. Okay. Yeah. It was wild. Yeah. That's even my mom one. and even yeah. my mom and dad were like, "Thank you, John." <laughs> they're, they're calling John too. <laughs> Mijo, thank you so much. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, you said just maybe some of that fish soup or something." You said, do something <laughs> crazy. For me. Give me some pozole next time I'm <laughs> in town. <laughs> Shit. And y'all been like traveling. Um, y'all do like just little trips together. I remember you guys used to go to Seattle a lot, right? Because you got some homies up there. Yeah. yeah, we took. We went one time. That one time, right? We just had mm-hmm. our show. Yep. Bro, that I just remember wild. the only reason I bring up Seattle is because it was a video. <laughs> of Ob- you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Where him, he was playing, playing football. football. Yes. Yo. He got the owie. Yeah, the owie. <laughs> <laughs> I still got it. I if we have that movie. video. Hey, bro, you got a lifetime mark. Or no, you tied it over it or what? Oh, yeah. It's right here, actually. Yeah. Oh, he did right a show purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, let me go ahead and block the this The owie was crazy. Yo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got a concussion from that shit. <laughs> I'm not mad at Yo, my nigga, that is an owie, boy. That is an owie. <laughs> I was feeling nauseous. <laughs> I was nauseated. No, I'm good, bro. Hey, if y'all can't, you gotta, I'll send you the clip, bro. I still yeah, got we gotta it. Put I got it. Shit on. I got it. Put that shit on <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, damn. See? But what else? Y'all have more than that, right? Like oh, Sports. <laughs> <laughs> been a long time now um it's been years shoot i mean it's been a lot of like i mean that's probably like the most like trivial one story we got where nah, bro like, you gotta talk about the girl like when you lived on oh on the street uh, and bro bro coming to the oh to yeah, the- <laughs> yeah well. so all right <laughs> all it's right. a great story yeah. Chronicles. Uh, so, like, my house somehow turned into like the kick it house at a certain point. You were sessioning in the garage. Right? Yeah, because yeah. I was always sessioning in the garage. So, like, homies would pull up. And I had this homie that uh, stayed around the corner on uh, Avenida Descanso. And his, I guess, his cousin or whatever. Which now he says like that was my first time meeting him, but I guess this is his cousin. That's already a red flag. <laughs> yeah, that's right? my cousin. No, it's not. Big, <laughs> don't lie. Big, big three fifty four hundred pounder. You know what Ooh, I'm saying? Like yeah. big dude. Um, he brought him over one day when we was barbecuing, and I'm just like in a good mood, so I'm like, oh yeah, bro, come eat. Yeah. You know. Um, and then after that day, he would just pop up. Just, just like random. It's like you can't just pop up it, like in stealth mode when you're that big. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, bro, we see you. <laughs> like, I see you from a mile away. Yeah, bro. like, like, like. No disrespect to my um big and beautiful people out there, uh, if you're watching. But uh, nah, bro, had popped up like a few times, unwanted, unwarranted, and uh, there was like a couple times we had to tell him like, hey, bro, you can't keep pulling up over here. Uh, I think even Obed had seen him like. A couple of times, like coming through my like back fence, literally Dog. would like let himself into the back fence, yeah. like or at least homies would tell me like, "Hey, bro, that dude was over here in the backyard, like looking oh, through." Like know, anytime we was in a neighborhood, food, bro. bro. I just I could picture him on the curb, just bro. Literally, that's how he was yeah. for. Nah, but this will be in the neighborhood too. Like, just I don't even know how he got around, but he was there. Right. So there's this one day, um, the neighbor comes by and they're like, "Hey, man." uh, your homie was looking through my window this yeah, morning at like 5 a.m. Yeah. I'm like, my homie? Yeah. Like, who? Now you're responsible. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, who? Like, my homies live here. Like, your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I get to thinking about who it could be. Then I'm like, oh, it's that fool. So um, later on, he comes into the, like, our little, like, 
dwelling area, you know, where like the complex. Yeah. And um, he comes into my garage, and I, 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 I just was about to have this like date with this girl, so I'm like trying to hurry him up out, like, bro, yeah. no, nah, I don't got the time right now. And he comes into the garage, and he's like, John, are you a man of faith? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> that's crazy. I turn around, look at the scene. I'm like, bro, what is you talking about? He's like, do you believe in the devil? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> I look at this thing. I'm like, bro, you got to dip now. You got to dip now. This man reaches into his back pocket and pulls out a plastic water gun and points it at me, bro. So, so now I'm like, bro, what are you saying? Like, what are yeah. you telling? And then he just like looks at me like wide eyed and then just smashed it, boom, smashed it to the ground. Oh, so he's already crazy. Like he's tripping. I'm like, yeah. Oh no. I'm like, all right. Now I'm yelling. I'm like, bro, dip. You gotta leave now. Like, yeah. leave. And then my cousin and uh, uh, another homie of ours, Josiah, uh, has start. They heard what was going on from the house, so they came outside and started kind of like pushing him down towards the street. Yeah. And in that part, I'm just like, you know, I think this man just threatened to kill me. So I went <laughs> in the house and you know, yeah. grab my little shit or whatever. Yeah. And then I come back outside. And then this man is like screaming at the top of his lungs, and then he just pulls his pants down, no, like like no. bare, bald, naked, and just starts going like <laughs> <laughs> screaming, bro, no cap. What? He's screaming like, <laughs> I, like like I'm seeing dick and balls just slapping like side, some like <laughs> side to side. I'm like, no, this thing is this. So at this point, I get livid, bro. I lose all like sense of where I'm at, what I'm doing. I just cock my shit back, like, Shh, sh. <laughs> and then he just like he like pulls his pants up, like he sees that I'm coming. He's like, "You gonna shoot me?" And then he, oh, shit. <laughs> my bad, guys. And then he turns around and he's just like, ah, like going down the street like this. And then the neighbor's like, "I'm calling the police." So like everybody hurry up and runs inside. And then my cousin uh, Sheldon, he was also like a big dude. Yeah. He goes out looking for him again, but he has a knife on him. So when the police get there, um, we like, where's Sheldon at? And then like we go looking for him, and the police got him hemmed up as if nah. he was the dude that We're naked. Yeah, they thought he was him. So we had to tell him like, nah, bro. Damn, I didn't know that. He about chased Sheldon. him. I didn't yeah. know they had this fool sitting there. Yeah, yeah, they had. That's him. crazy. You chased a naked dude though. That's <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I chased him because I'm like at this I point, kill the neighbors is outside. Bro, yeah. Like, come on, bro. Like, but I, I, I lost track of that for a second. And I like you just blacked out. That was it. Flashed before my eyes because I was really about to like. Yeah, like you know, and then I'm just like, nah, 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 I got too much to lose. Like, let me just let this man get on. But that was honestly like, it's it's crazy because that's this is more intense than like you briefly told me the story. But what did he say? Nah, there's a different. So that's like I think this is that's after. Oh, this is another time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Oh, you talking about the time when he came to the to the, the garage? Bro, is this, this guy? is before. <laughs> so he this came to the garage. This fool was coming multiple times. Yeah, that was like like that time that he's talking about right now was like the last straw before I yeah. just had no I've patience never seen for him. After this, so he came to the garage while we were sessioning, and like he's banging on the garage door. You know, we had it like down at the time because you know we we're playing loud music, and uh, I'm like, "Who is that?" And he was like, "What's his name?" Oh, he was like, "It's D-Lo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, bro. Always a funny hey, bro. We recording yeah. music right now. Like, you can't. You, you gotta come back. He's like, I got Patron and two bitches. <laughs> nah, dude. This is, what you say? I got a bitch in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, he said I got. A, nah, he got two bitches with him. He had a bottle and two bitches. Oh, no, I thought he was just. That playing. that was his big flex. I nah. This shit though. He said, I got a bitch in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a crazy intro. <laughs> That's the name of the next tour. So, <laughs> bitch in a bottle. So, I'm not gonna lie. I was like slightly intrigued. I'm like, what kind of bitches this nigga got with him? Let like, me see them first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up, like, let me see. Hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> so the door, Only half the door later. raises, right? <laughs> the door raises, and I see the bitches. I'm like, oh, these bitches is busted. You, <laughs> <laughs> you got to go, brother. Come on, man. We gotta go. And like. Like, like after that, man, like that was like the last straw for me where I'm just like, yo, I can't just be having like randoms pull up to the crib yeah. while we trying to do stuff. And this dude was so strange, bro. Like he would like sometimes just pull a, a, a like 
you know, like a lollipop out his pocket with no wrapper and he starts sucking it. No, that, that would have been that would have been the nah, first put red it, flag, bro. Put, and it then put it back in. <laughs> and pull it out later. Saving the shit for later. Yeah, yeah. very strange but dude. That man. one night, like I remember, like I got nervous because like this fool, he like got there. That happened, but then like he didn't leave, and then like he knocked again. Yeah, and I was like, oh, some shit's about to go down. Like. He was super persistent. Yeah. And I was like, all right, here we go. Yeah, he came back after that. He did. He was a big dude. Yeah, like, huge. Like, a, a cool like 400 pounds. Yeah. Damn. And, like, For not sure. from around there, so it was just He was weird. from the IE or something, too. So. He just over here? Yeah, he had just came to, like, there's, like, a house around, like, on Avenida Descanso with, like, a bunch yeah. of smokers in it. He was staying at that house. God damn. So, yeah. That's crazy. You opened the garage. I just felt like... <laughs> I just wanted to see You see the like, two women, you're like, oh. oh I'll never forget that. I got a bitch in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro. That's some shit you see in a movie, bro. Because sometimes it'd be some like cute females with the with the big niggas sometimes. You know what I'm saying? With him, like, though? Lollipop guy? Hey, nah. you never know. <laughs> that was like from San Bernardino. Yeah. He's from nah, but uh, I heard recently that he passed away, though. So. Oh, shit. Sure. Oh, R.I.P. Sure. R.I.P. to him, yeah. I mean, shit. Hey, Doing man. shit like that, though, at the same time, brother, you know. Hey, how... you don't got a long lifespan. <laughs> the life yeah. expectancy shortens his body a little bit. Because <laughs> I almost shit him You walk in a thin off. line, brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, remember the little fools from... <laughs> Bro, it was always... Some... Just always in that neighborhood. Like, yeah. in my neighborhood. In front of your house, right? Yeah, like... We was just rehearsing, and then... <sighs> It was like a bunch of us just outside. And then this this bread truck comes down the street. And I could already tell what type of time they're on just by the way they're driving down the street. And like I was like down by the actual street. They were like more up the driveway. And um they like bust a Yui. And I'm like, okay. So I just step out into the street just to greet them as they're coming. And then like as soon as they pull up, they're like, I'm like, all right. And I look down and they all strapped, like all of them. So I'm like, okay. They're like, where are you from? I'm like, I'm from Oceanside. I'm just keeping it super yeah. calm, like, I'm from Oceanside. And then they're like, I'm like, where y'all from? Like, yeah. I'm like, all right, well, y'all be safe. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Bro, when I said that, dog, like, all of them, except for the driver, but the two, like, because they were, like, younger dudes, the two uh, passengers, and the, the driver, like, I yeah. could tell he was, like, my age, and they just looked at me, and they was like, they just confused. Safe. They're like, yeah. he's telling us to be safe, we just drew down on him? Yeah. And then uh, they just drove off, bro, and then I come back up to the driveway, and I think y'all could kind of tell something was going on, yeah. but you didn't know that they was, like, about to shoot us. Nah, because I was just, like, it was, like... Bro, like, what do you think is possibly going on? It's a Mexican fool and a bunch of black fools. Like, right. what, what gang are we yeah. in <laughs> right now? Like, and like, honestly, yeah. like, I felt like a way. Like, I wanted to do, like, a little Superman thing. Like, when I seen the guns, like, I wanted to just grab one of them, like, and it just start busting. But then I'm like, this is Obed's house. Like, his mom <laughs> yeah. and dad stay here. So I was just like, nah, let me just keep it super calm. Like, but that was definitely one of those, like, another That's yeah. crazy Dude, there was a time where we were posted up in front of your house, at, like, during the session, yeah. like, smoking a cigarette. And the kind of same thing, some fool pulls up real slow, gets out, gets out of the car. He goes, are you Obed? And then Obed goes, yeah, uh, who's asking? He goes, I got delivery for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bro doing like like UPS or some yeah. shit, but it was like in his regular car, like an Amazon package. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. Bro, it was just... Cause bro, he's paranoid now, bro. Every nah, time yeah. Outside. Fools be driving slow and being weird. Yeah. It's crazy. Nah. It's a little tricky for sure. Yeah. We got stopped so. by the police. <laughs> right. That I was just thinking it. about that the other day, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I be seeing that I be I see those same fools all the time. Because I wanted to ask them and I didn't say this, but but it was like it was like y'all was kind of going against the grain from me. I was like, bro, we gotta be one one band, one sound. Yeah. And then they was like asking for IDs and stuff. And I'm like, wait, like, what do we do for you to ask for our ID right. though? They're like, well, we've been uh getting Complaints about uh, robberies in the area, but I'm like, that's hearsay for real. Like, yeah. do you have articulable suspicion that a crime is being committed right yeah. now? Like, this is what I'm thinking, but I didn't, I didn't say that at the time. So like, they kind of like ran us eventually to where we had to give them like where we lived and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I was just, we, I feel like we just caught off guard too. Like, yeah, I was just like, I didn't even think it was the police. Like the 
Nah, it bro wasn't, pulled yeah. up and I was like, okay, cool, whatever. And you just the unmarked. To say what's up. And then the unmarked car came and I was like, okay. Right. Yeah. And then it didn't help. Uh, my my cousin, he had like his phone in his sock, but it looked oh, like so it looked like a like whatever. Yeah. So damn. But even that, bro, it's like ain't nobody. There's no robberies going on here. Like. We'll it's be the a first Tuesday to know. afternoon. Like, like, what are you talking like, about? Like, come on, if we was robbing shit, you think we'd just be standing right yeah. here, like talking about it? Bro, I'm in Birkenstocks. Yeah, come on, what bro. the fuck you think I was robbing? got slides on, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. this is lemonade. <laughs> like, like... Yeah. yeah. Y'all have any like pre-show rituals that you have to do before a show? I have a video of y'all doing push-ups. <laughs> Shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Shot them fucking push-ups right yeah. in the yeah. shot. Drink a lot of alcohol. Um, I'm trying to change that though, because you know you don't want to be too drunk going on the stage. But the last the last show I did with y'all uh, over at the oh the theater, theater? Or was it the Star Theater? Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. During sound check, John was trying to run up the stairs and he fell. <laughs> Bruh, yeah, see, cause shit like that. Yeah, yeah, and it was after like the lady had she was like pressing me like you can't go in this way. Yeah. I'm like, lady, I'm my name's on the marquee. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm headlining the show. Like she stopped okay. all of us at one point. One time, yeah. one point, I walked in with Brock. And Dean, I think, and then she tried to stop us, and then Brock just took. He just went in front and just talked to them. He goes, "Let me talk to y'all." Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's what that's what had to happen. Yeah. He just he just went like, "No, no, no, he, he, it's okay." He, goes, like, he said the exact same yeah. thing I said. He just said, "No, no, no, he's performing here tonight." <laughs> yeah. It's just oh, his, okay. it's his cadence. That's, yeah. what, that's what threw me off, bro. That's what threw me it's off. It's not what where, you say; it's how you say it. Yeah. <laughs> right. To where, like, right after that, and incident, how you look like when, when, when you're walking up the like, stairs and it's, I just tripped. I'm like, damn. That's why. Yeah, drunk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to change that a little too. But I kind of know my limit. Yeah, as far as so. drinking before a show, I just yeah. get excited, man. Like, <laughs> you look at me like you I don't just, believe me. I know. <laughs> he said, "No, you, you don't know." Why you lying to everyone? I mean, even when I did drink, I couldn't really drink before a show. I forget my lyrics and shit. Yeah, I mean that doesn't happen, but. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yo, that's cr- I didn't even remember this, but I have a video of the last show y'all did. I think it was the uh, the art one. Oh, and you were just doing a few songs. Yeah, bro, the whole the whole verse. You just oh, went, hey. oh, hey. his song, <laughs> yeah. Tatiana, Tatiana, bro, because I haven't, I haven't, I haven't even heard that like to remember it. Bro. Yeah. And so long, he's like, "Yeah, we doing Tatiana tonight." And I'm like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> bro, I ain't that's why I be, we but just... I be leaving. The, I, that's why I be leaving the verses in sometimes. Yeah, because we were like standing to the side, and yeah. then I was like, "You doing the song?" You're like, "Shit, I don't know." <laughs> like, bro. right when it already started, I'm like, "What, bro?" bro. Cause, cause I just knew, like, man, I haven't listened to this song in a minute. Yeah. And like I, I have started off with some Spanish shit in the beginning of the verse. I I forgot what I said. <laughs> I think in the, like, in the video he might be whispering to you, <laughs> like trying to tell you the lyrics. Yeah, Did I? Yeah, pause though. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded crazy for a second. Hold up. <laughs> whispering to me. You fuck with the chat. <laughs> I, I wasn't whispering. <laughs> I'm making Obed sound sus in every fucking episode. Yeah, bro, he did this shit last week. <laughs> shit. Nah, but that show was crazy. I was so faded that I ran up the stairs. I did yeah. like a school of, school mu- musical that was type some shit. Some high school musical. Yeah, bro. Shit, bro. <laughs> like Zach Efron. <laughs> shit is wild. <laughs> singing to the people down. I get second. I get a girl in the crowd. You singing to her? I get secondhand embarrassment. Think about that, bro. What, it's crazy because they had a spotlight at, on you too. At the star? Nah, at the. Uh, at the lo- at the low key art show, a courtesy shit. Oh yeah, you I ran did. up the shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you did. Video. Hey, Somebody hey, you had that video. I ran, bro. I You're ran. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Schoolhouse rock, <laughs> that ass boy. Hey. I seen all his legs like this. Yeah, he stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> they can only move so fast. Oh. <laughs> it's like. <sighs> Dude, it's just like everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody, see that shit though. Hey, it was, it was, was crazy. It was got hype. It did go crazy. Imagine if I died after that, just fell off. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, bro. See, you get second hand embarrassment. Huh? You think about it, you're like, damn, I'll never. I'm proud, actually. <laughs> nah, man. I because I had came, I had like. Briefly went out uh, like at that part of your set and then came back and your ass was just up top. So how do you get up there? He, he pulls up. He's like, "Where'd he go?" And then by the way, you ran down. I'm like, "Oh yeah, he's feeling it." 
The way he ran down the stairs. Nah, that was a, that point, was a Casamigos talking. At one point during your performance, John's like dancing and filming and he looks at me and goes, Yo, I fuck with bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was lit. <laughs> yeah, that was a terrible night. Well, it was a great night, but... That was the best, bro. I made some bad decisions. Welcome to Channel 76 News. My name is Chip Chandler and we have a breaking development out of BB Labs in Oceanside where scientists have seemed to crack the code. As head of development here at BBL, we're excited to announce our latest advancement in daily vitamins, vitamin D A F. All natural, organic ingredients that we smuggle, uh, import uh, from Colombia will ensure that you are able to overcome any obstacles that you're facing. Wow, what a touching story. Chip Chandler here, signing off. What's up with y'all? Like, what's what y'all got going on? I'm like, just dropping a new song. It's Friday. Oh yeah, yeah, huh? Comes out Friday. Y'all, you've been using that's that. My, um, that's one of my favorite songs. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, I sent this shit to him. He Wait, me. is that the one you previewed on the on the yeah. IG story, bro? That the break that beat, like a dance drug, one. Yeah, bro. It was good. Yeah, appreciate you, it was bro. Good. I'm excited to hear that. Yeah, I've been using that uh, Instagram like uh, schedule your post type shit. Have you yeah, seen yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that shit is solid. I did the whole month, like the whole two months in promotion for uh-huh. like, I just schedule it. I don't even go on Instagram and watch it. Just Proactive. post. I like yeah. It. Shout out to Sage and Regina for that one. The marketing team. Yeah. That's what's up. Got to have a team, man. What you, Obed? And we, everyone's waiting. Just trying to put out music. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Nah, nah, nah. He did a shrug. <laughs> Just hit two million streams. Nah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, it didn't mean like no, that. Hey, congrats, bro. You, hit, you just hit two nah, more. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but yes, yeah, so I'm trying to just put Let's out music. Let's that up. Let's pick that up. My man. Come on now. Hey, way. show some respect. <laughs> yeah. God bless. God bless. Yeah. Come on. But nah, definitely try to put out new music. I haven't put out music in like two years. Has it been two years? Yeah. Damn. Like a new song. Is the album? 2021, yeah. Oh, shit. Let the record reflect, though. He got some good shit in the canon right now. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I guess just trying to stay consistent. Yeah. I mean, he'll be sending me shit that like he'll he'll like make like he'll mix everything I'm like bro, this is f- so fire. Then like a year later, I yo, yo, when are you gonna drop? He goes, oh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, but yeah. Like how many how many things do you have just like sitting there? Like, I don't like, even everybody, know. Everybody, like, yeah, like, yeah, that's regular. Everybody, like you might start something and then be like, ah, maybe later. Yeah. Type shit. Yeah. Yeah. You just put it away. Yeah. Just fucking. And there's like things that are like that you, not necessarily that you care what anybody thinks, but you're like, I don't know, it's kind of nervous. Like you get yeah. kind of nervous thinking like, oh, I'm gonna put this out. Like for sure, I'm gonna be this uh, like vulnerable. Raw. Yeah, yeah, vulnerable. Yeah, or trying diff- something different. You know. Yeah, I think the dopest part about that though is like when you do put it out and like just go against that like natural inclination to like doubt. Like, yeah, you just run it, and then you see who connects with it. Yeah. It's like, wow. I mean, that's always, like, fun. So, because I was, like, super on some, oh, I'm only dropping projects, but dropping singles over the last few months has been, like, kind of liberating. It's the way like, to go, oh, yeah. I could do whatever. I could. Yeah. I'm just having fun now. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Do you feel like making your own, like, ma- making your own, or like, producing your own things, like, is, do you feel more artistic or more uh, yeah. than, like, having somebody else? Send you beats? Yeah, I feel like it's like cooking, bro. Like literally, like it's like, you know, you get your 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 you know, your meats, your veggies, you know, all the shit that you need to make a meal and then season that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just that shit it's fun, you know? Yeah. I always love that part. Uh let me ask y'all a question. What do you like more? Uh making the music or performing it? Shit, that's hard. That's really hard. Probably, I'll say for me, making it just because I'm so much more comfortable in like you know a studio yeah. or yeah versus performing. Even though I like performing, but like yeah. I get more nervous performing. Where I feel s- super comfortable just cooking. Right. I, I think probably making the same shit. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's it's a lot more rewarding too at the end. You know when the final product is like. Yeah, this is it, bro. But I will say, performing like live, like when that shit hits, is it's a no better feeling. Yeah, true. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's bro. different when you got the people actually singing what you saying. And yeah, 
you know, you see that, it's like, whoa, hold on. Yeah. This just took new life. Yeah. You know? And it's, I think it, it's kind of hard too, because like here, like we don't really got, we were, how we were talking the other day, like it ain't really no places to yeah. perform, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. But like when people like want to come see live music, mm-hmm. like it's different. Like you have different crowds, but like, yeah, when that shit hits and they're like looking forward to seeing you, not just yeah. being like too cool. No, for showing like, you love when you have shit, actual yeah. music fans there yeah. versus like other musicians, you know, like it's it's tight. Yeah, man. There's no feeling like that, man. I remember doing Canada, and uh, this was like like 2016, and I had just put out like Elementary True, and like, bro, it was like cool 150 people in Canada, but still, it's in Canada, bro. I'm yeah. in Canada with 150 yeah. people. This room just got nice and warm. Yeah. And that song came on, bro, and they just sang that shit. Like, Wild. I'm yeah. like, ugh. <laughs> uh. Come on now. I made this song, but this might be funner, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, seeing other people sing your song. True. You know, like, so, I mean, I think that's the feeling we all chase when we make a song, too, is something that relates to people. For and, sure. You know, they can sing to or rap something to. Something they or feel. Whatever, yeah. yeah. So. I like how you get the crowd involved when you perform. Hey man, I try. That's dope. You get the mic out to someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure. That's definitely fun. Cause it's like, man, we here to have a good time. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And the people in the front, most of the time, they're always lit. Like it's just, you know, for sure, they're yeah. down for that shit. Yeah, that's why they in the front, man. Yeah. Give me you know that the, shit. The other thing too, though, is that like it's hard. I don't. I won't say it's hard, but like, if you don't have a a band, I feel like it just translates differently. True. Like there's a different yeah. feeling with the live, yeah, element versus just. Because I feel like also you have a track, you have to kind of keep up with the track, yeah. and you can't like have fun, yeah, with your band, yeah. But even like when like when I was on tour, like with the tracks, like that shit went up, like it sounded yeah, yeah. good. I was Yo, like, damn, yeah. if this was a full band, this would have been crazy. Yeah. But you're also playing too, so I feel like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, and that's why I feel like it's cool because like I, that's why I don't really feel any type of way because I was like, oh, I could actually play all these part, different parts, mm-hmm. like, yeah. But my other question was. With like the creating, would you rather make something from scratch yourself, or like work with your favorite person, your favorite producer? I'd work with my favorite producer still. You know, cause you would choose that versus making things yourself. Oh, like if I could only have one option? Nah, but like, what's your, what would be like your preference? Man, if I could work with my favorite producer, that's just gonna give me more game on how to produce. So yeah, yeah, true. I'm yeah. definitely gonna work with my favorite one. For sure. Yeah. What about you? Probably the same. I mean, a lot of my favorite producers are the homies, too. So it's just like, it makes it even more fun. Exactly. Getting to do that shit. Yeah, Yeah, no. I I mean, I definitely like linking up with different people. You get a different... Yeah. Yeah. Especially now, because you're tapping into other genres. Yeah. Like, we link up. I'll make yeah. some shit I would've never made by myself. We link up. I'll make some shit I never made by yeah. myself. Because lately it's been like more rock for you. Like all the shit you've been showing me, it's like more rock. And the... Well, yeah, because like going to the... Like that. It, that's even tight too of like doing different genres because like going to the homie Joey and like doing songwriting sessions over there, it's like, oh, I could do this too. Yeah. Like, cool. Let me try to work yeah. on this type of stuff. Yeah. Like everybody, even like learning everybody like, can get it. <laughs> the production uh-huh. side, like even like your drums, like your live drums sound... Crazy, for sure. Yeah. You're working with people who only work with live drums. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, for sure, it, yeah. it bends your ear. Yeah, you see how they like EQ some or compress some. Even like, just oh. like they have like a shortcut you never knew about. Yeah, and you're like what the fuck? Yeah. Well, and that's my thing too about making beats. Now is like, I like to. It's like hard to make drum sound like real drums sound good. Like, yeah. just, so it's like a challenge. Mm. Yeah. Versus just doing like mm-hmm. trap hi hats and like. For sure. A regular snare, you know? For sure. Yeah, because the timing's for sure, like, different. Yeah, you got to make it sound real. Yeah. What What was, like, if you could, what would be, like, another genre you would venture into? Hey, please say screamo. <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore. Pop punk. Emo shit. <laughs> another genre? Yeah. Damn. I mean, like... I feel like I kind of already do this, but, like, I would do, like, some, like, blues type shit or some, like, you know, some retro blues type. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I used to like, doing, like, uh, like, island music. Yeah. Like, 
island like R&B, like mm-hmm. reggae. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Some shit like I can see that. that. You too, for sure. Yeah. What about you? Bachata? <laughs> the salsa, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> salsa would be hard, bro. That would be wild. Like, actually. actual full, like, yeah. band? Yeah, yeah. that would be tight. Yeah, I could see you doing, like, alternative. Yeah. Like, I might just, get in that bag at some point, man. Not to say that you can't, but, like, like I could just see you doing that. No, nah, yeah. Like, it's scoring, like, 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 too. like. You know that that movie soundtrack music, bro. Like, no, nah, yeah, I, I, I've been actually doing some of that stuff, like uh, the TV and film stuff, and that's where I'm like realizing, like, bro, I don't have to just do one thing. Yeah, yeah. like I don't have to just stay in one lane. Like, I can, yeah, anything that I, you know, gravitate towards, I could get in that lane for sure. So, because I'm making songs I would never actually make for myself. Yeah, in that space, and it's like, okay. All right, I don't have to be so like rigid with myself. You know yeah, what I mean? like, you're not limiting anymore. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of it translates, bro. Even like scoring, like once you learn how to mix and like learn your system, yeah, and just get comfortable with your system, it's like you can do anything at that, bro. Point. I try to tell every artist that, like, because you know some some artists come and ask for advice, and I'm like, bro, if you're not recording yourself at some point, yeah, like you're not gonna be able to really ever feel confident, like, yeah. And I mean, I would just encourage everybody to get their own setup where they can just like off the cuff. Just learn. Yeah. Just like you don't have to wait for nobody. You just put out what's on your mental. Yeah. And you just do it like you just have shit ready too. It's like, oh, I've been working on this, but like yeah. now I can I don't have to wait for a recession or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Now I've exactly. recently had fools who are like we're gonna buy beats for me. They're like, or oh, like are you down to record it too? And I'm like, nah. Like I used yeah. to be. Yeah, but, but like, now it's just, just like I'm like, nah, I don't want to engineer. Yeah, and also, why I'm not gonna do like I'm gonna half-ass this because I don't yeah. want to do it. Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah. it'd be it'd be better for you, you to just do it. Or it. Just pay learn, somebody bro. to do it. Like, yeah. I gotta give you your flowers, like both of y'all, because y'all put me on so much game in terms of producing and shit. So it's like, like I remember when I first started, I was planning on ha- that was me. Like I was <laughs> like, yo, Obez gonna do my whole project, <laughs> blah blah. And yo, you should just like try start like start producing. And I'm like, all right, what should I buy? Bro, just sent me a list. I remember, like, no. my lady bought me most of it, but I was like, dude, this is, it's a foreign language, but I'm going to learn. See, you but know? ain't it more rewarding? Like, you yeah, for sure. It yourself. Mm-hmm. And I can just send y'all shit, just like, yeah, what you think, yeah. Exactly, bro. That's the beautiful part about it, man. Like, I can remember even sometimes going to the studio out there in L.A., and he, like, he wasn't there, and there's supposed to be a producer coming, but they were late or didn't show up, and I'd yeah. just be sitting there like, damn, what I'm going to do? Like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't like that feeling, so I'm yeah. like, I got to figure this shit out, like, yeah. like you know, so. You're, just so. you're just so limited, bro. Yeah. You don't know how to do it shit. Yeah. And it's just a good skill to have. No, yeah, yeah. for sure. It widens, like, your, I mean, school little side yeah. gig. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just fun. Yeah, it is, bro. Like, when you get something rocking, you're like, ooh, okay. Yeah. And, like, bro, nowadays, it's so easy. Like, like not, like, to learn, but, like, it's easy to, like, have access to shit. Oh yeah, like like I was like all the musicians that are like you know eighteen nineteen coming up now. I'm like yo, y'all have it so easy. Yeah, yeah like, you have sure. access to everything. Right. Like I definitely still do come from that era where you had to go get studio time yep. somewhere. Yep. You know now yeah. you can have the shit in your house. Had to fucking record under a blanket. Yeah. Type shit. Yep. For sure. All right, y'all. Um, I think we're gonna wrap. That was pretty good, bro. Yeah. That was solid. It was a good time. Yeah. Y'all got some stories. Yeah. The clips are gonna be crazy. All right, uh, the socials will be in the link. This episode is right. brought to you so, by. Socials will be in the bio on the thing. Brown Boys Podcast. Brown Boys Podcast. Brown Boys Podcast.